Hey everyone, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having a marvelous day. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a free ChatGPT client for your Samsung Galaxy devices. You can actually install this on any Android device and it's free on the Google Play Store. Let's get it installed. I'll show you a couple examples and then a little quirk with this application as well. And I will say this right up front at the beginning of the video, this ChatGPT stuff is absolutely bonkers. I am talking bonkers. I mean, if you're a high school student, you're a college student, and you're tired of writing essays, just keep watching this video. All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna to go to the Google Play Store, open that up real quick, and we're gonna search for an application called AI Cogni. All right, here's the application, that's what it looks like. Let's go ahead and install that real quick. All right, we've got it installed, let's go ahead and open it up. All right, gives you a little disclaimer on about how to use it for the first time. We'll go ahead and click next. Just go through the screens here real quick. All right, just kind of walks you through it. And then it's gonna eventually get you to a login screen. So you're gonna enter an email and password and then log in. Um, and it also gives you the option to create an account. So when you go to create account, it doesn't do anything. So what you wanna do is just put in your email address and a password that you wanna be tied to this account. Then go ahead and hit create account. And then it's gonna pop up with a little flash notification that tells you to verify your email. You'll just go to your email account, verify your email address real quick, then you'll come back here and use your uh, email address and password. So I've already signed up for an account. Let me sign in real quick. All right, so once it's loaded up, it's gonna go ahead and show you some like default chats that you can start with. This is just to kind of get the juices flowing, you know, get your brain thinking about what you can do when you interact with this chatbot. Because that's all this is, is an AI powered chatbot using the ChatGPT engine. So what you can do if you wanna go ahead and clear these out and start with a fresh session is go ahead and tap on the three dots. Then we have clear chats up top. That'll start you off with a fresh window. And some of the things you can do with this are absolutely nuts. So what you're gonna do is you just start a conversation with this chat bot. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Um, we'll go ahead and tap in here. Gonna hit the microphone button. Write me a 1000 word essay on how to solve world hunger. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, send it on its way. Let the chat bot do its thing. Certainly. I'd be happy to help you with that. World hunger is a complex issue that affects millions of people nuts. around the globe. Just nuts. It is a problem that requires a multi So I'm going to turn this down while she talks away. So it's pretty nuts. It'll start talking it out for you, and then it'll stop kind of midway through because it gives you the options to like replay what it's already done, and then you can continue. And the reason it does it in chunks is because it gives you the opportunity to like intervene. Like if you want to pause here and say, I don't like the direction of this essay, take it in another direction. It'll take it in another direction. So I mean, you, you like literally have the opportunity to interact with this chatbot as you're going along. But we can like go really bonkers with this. Let me show you something here. Write me a YouTube script explaining the origins of Samsung. All right, we'll send it on its way. Check this out. Introduction. Hey everyone, welcome back to Intro, our title, video, tells you what graphics to put in. Of one of the Basically it'll do the entire YouTube video. Samsung. All I gotta do is go out to the web and download some images and just read the script out loud. Boom, there's a YouTube video. It's got the full facts. You can fact check them all you want. I mean, is this crazy or what? Absolutely crazy. So there's a couple weird things about this app. You saw what just popped up, this little microphone thing. So it's constantly asked for these microphone permissions. So what I pick is don't allow. And the reason for that is, and I'll show you here, is when you click on the microphone button, watch what it does. We'll go ahead and let it use the permission this time while using the app. It's gonna say Bluetooth headset, and it will do that all the time. So what it's trying to do is constantly connect to your Bluetooth headset. The only problem is, is my Galaxy Buds are on the other side of the office. I don't have them anywhere near me. So this microphone thing that it has built in does not work at all. So, and the other thing too, is it'll annoy the heck out of you too. When you're interacting with the chat bot, it'll come up with that same microphone message. And the way to alleviate that is to go up here into this little settings section here. And there's this option right here that says auto listen after chat replay, right? We can go ahead and disable that. And that'll stop that microphone junk from popping up every time you're in the middle of a conversation with it. So to permanently disable the microphone permissions in case you accidentally allow them, you're just gonna swipe down. We're gonna go into settings here real quick. We're gonna scroll down until we get to apps, tap on that, and then we're gonna pick AI Cogni, and then we're gonna tap on permissions real quick. And you see how the microphone has allowed permissions. 
We're going to go ahead and tap on the microphone real quick, and we're going to tell it don't allow. And that's going to reset it back to not having permissions for the microphone, and then the app works nice. It's all good. So if you're a student and you need to get an essay out in a hurry, if you're looking to do some analytics, if you need to build a quick website and have it write you out some code, I'm telling you, this chat GPT stuff is the business. This stuff is nuts. I'm not saying cheat or anything, but uh, you can definitely leverage it to your power. I mean, this thing is very helpful. So here you go, a chat GPT client for your Samsung Galaxy devices. You don't have to go out to a web browser or do any funny stuff. It'll just sit here and run on your phone. No other special permissions required. It's just asking for that weird microphone permission. Oh, I should mention too, there's a uh, companion app for the Wear OS. So you can download a companion app for your Galaxy Watch 4 or Watch 5. And uh, it's similar to the app. But the only thing is, is it too wants to interact with the headset. So you've got to have a headset connected in order for the uh, Wear OS app to really work. Kind of a bummer. Hopefully the developers fix that soon. You can just use the internal mic. So here you are, AI Cogni, available for free in the Google Play Store. There is a premium version because eventually you do run out of credits because your conversations use credits. What I recommend though is just uninstall the app and re-register with a different email ID and you'll be back to square one, back in business. But hey, it's your choice. You can choose to upgrade to premium if you want. If you have any questions or comments about today's video, please drop them down in the description. I really do appreciate your time. And as always, thanks for watching.